Hello, my name is Ken McIntyre, and I'm a senior software developer with SciGen. Today I'm going to demonstrate our integration between the Canon ScanFront 330 desktop scanner and SciCapture, SciGen's flagship document capture product. The integration consists of two web-based components. The panel website, which is displayed on the ScanFront 330 touchscreen, and the maintenance website that is used to configure the panel and maintain panel security. First, let's walk through a demonstration of the panel itself. The scanner operator must first log on to the device. While new operators can register to use the panel, the panel administrator must assign various scan destinations to the operator before they can actually use the device. As you can see here, users can also maintain their password. I've already entered my credentials, so we'll proceed to the next screen. Here you see the various scan destinations we've configured for the panel. Each button is configured independently through the maintenance website. The administrator controls the name of the button, the file storage location assigned to the button, and the method of file transfer, either direct copy or FTP. Once the scan is complete, SciCapture will import the resulting file and process it. I have some purchase orders loaded into the scanner, so let's select the accounting button and send those purchase orders to SciCapture. Once you select a destination, the operator can configure various scanner options before scanning begins. The most common options are on the first page, while the remaining options are on the second page. The operator switches between the two pages using the up and down arrows at the top right hand of the screen. Once the operator has the scanner configured, they press the Start button to begin the scan. We'll do that now. And you'll see on a Windows Explorer screen as the files drop into the monitor directory and queue up for import into SciCapture. Now here we are in SciCapture. I've configured SciCapture to monitor the directory where our purchase order pages were saved. When it detects a set of document files, SciCapture will import the files into a new batch. I've also configured it to break the pages into separate documents based on the purchase order number, which is contained in the barcode on each page. It then uses OCR to obtain the line item details from each purchase order number. Once complete, the due documents and index data can be migrated directly to a wide variety of content management systems or external databases. Let's open the batch that was created from the scans. I'll open it in our quality assurance module so you can see the results. The batch has two documents that were created from three scanned pages. The first document, Purchase Order 193468, contains two pages with seven line items. The second document, Purchase Order 116745, contains one page and it has four line items. When we switch to the data view, you can see all of the information that was captured from each line item across both documents. Now let's take a quick look at the panel maintenance web application. The administrator uses this app to maintain the collection of buttons displayed on the panel, the list of scan front devices where the panel is deployed, the address of the SciCapture license server, the users who can access the panel, and the list of security roles for both buttons and users. The first screen displayed is the scan destination screen. This screen is used to define the buttons that are displayed on the panel. Here you can see the list of current buttons. Let's take a look at the accounting button's configuration. Here we see the screen for both editing and adding panel buttons. First we have the button text, which is the text the scan operator will see on the panel button. Next we have the destination folder, which is the target location for all documents scanned for this location. We're using the post transfer method, 
which means the panel will copy files directly to this location. The directory we have assigned for this button is a shared directory on the network and must be specified in UNC format. You can also specify a default file name for all files generated by the scan. A date and timestamp value will be appended after the default file name to ensure all file names are unique. Finally, we have the security roles for this button. The available roles are on the left, while the assigned roles are on the right. As we'll see in a bit, these same roles are assigned to users of the panel. When a user logs onto the panel, only buttons with assigned roles that match the user's assigned roles are going to be displayed. Next we have the devices list. When a Canon ScanFront 330 is configured to use the panel and is accessed for the first time, it will register itself for licensing purposes. If you have a scanner that will no longer be using the panel, the administrator can remove it from this list, thus freeing up the license for another device. Next we have the license server screen. In order for the panel to function, it must have access to the local SciCapture license server where its licenses are stored. Here's the screen where we maintain the list of the panel's users. Administrators can either add users manually or update users who have registered to the panel's login screen. Users who register will have no roles defined, so the administrator would need to assign their roles here. The administrator can also disable accounts or force a user to update their password during the next login attempt. I'm the only current user, so let's take a look at my settings. Here we have the user ID, flags to force password changes or to disable the account, as well as the security roles assigned. If a user forgets their password, the administrator can press the reset button, enter a new password, and select to force the password change at the next login. As I mentioned earlier, each user must be assigned at least one security role. Each role is associated with one or more buttons, except for the admin role, which is used to grant access to this administration website. Finally, we have the roles definition screen. Here the user can maintain the list of active security roles for the panel. You can add multiple new roles to the system by entering them into the memo field separated by semicolons. If you attempt to delete a role that's still in use, the application will tell you which users and or destination buttons it's assigned to. This concludes our demonstration of the ScanFront 330 panel for SciCapture integration. If you have any questions, feel free to contact your Canon reseller. <laughs>